So with producing large, fully developed flowers in mind, it's important that we control the growth structure of our plant, which includes internodal spacing. Now, a term that we use with regards to plant growth and internodal spacing is called stretching. If internodes widen too far, we say our plant is stretching. This is definitely considered undesirable. There are a number of things that can cause a plant to stretch. So I'm going to give a brief overview of some of those things. For example, high heat can cause a plant to stretch. Overcrowding could cause a plant to stretch. In the situation of overcrowding, they're all fighting to get up to the light and get the best light. So they stretch to get past each other, resulting in a whole gamut of undesirable growth. If a plant is root bound, it can cause stretching. And certain overuse of gibberellic acid could cause stretching. These all are undesirable. We want to see very tight nodes in our garden so that when our flowers stack up, we can get big, fully developed flowers. There's a few things that we can do to control stretching. For example, lights off temp and lights on temp, the difference between the two, which we call differential, can affect nodal spacing. If we have a 10 to 15 degree differential, that's going to cause fairly wide spacing and rapid growth. If our plant tends to stretch excessively during the first two weeks of flower, we could bring the lights on temperature and lights off temperature closer together if we brought it to a five degree differential, say 80 lights on, 75 lights off, that would definitely tighten up our nodal spacing and get control of the situation. Another way to control nodal spacing during the first two weeks of flower is to use metal halide lighting during the first two weeks of flower. Blue light keeps the plant short and compact and gives tight internodal spacing. So these are some of the techniques that we can use to control stretching and I've mentioned some of the things that are undesirable that can cause stretching. If you keep these things in mind when you're gardening, you can prevent these problems before they get out of control and keep your plant in a desirable state to get those big fully developed flowers.